hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button to see more home holiday event wedding and diy decor today i'm going to show you how to make an easy balloon arch for a beautiful and fun wedding ceremony here we go There were two factors on deciding on what to do today for today's wedding project. Number one, you guys decided that you wanted a ceremony decor. And number two, I have been dying, guys. I have been dying, dying, dying to make another wedding arch. I have been waiting for the weather to get better, but I thought about it, it's been raining. So if I make a balloon arch, I can do it indoors. No need to wait anymore. Yeah. <laughs> let's get started okay guys so i am now outside because i'm going to be painting but before i can do that i want to break it down to you and show you how i turn three pvc pipes into what i have right here um, number one each pipe is 10 feet tall and you don't have to worry about cutting them yourself the nice guys at home depot will cut them for you and these two are now six feet five inches tall and these are going to go on this side of the arch the one right here is five feet tall and this is going to go on top the four right here are one and a half feet tall and these are going to serve as legs and these are the connectors this is a t connector that is going to connect the legs with the rest of the arch and then right here we have elbows which are 90 degrees they are going to connect this and this together all right so let me show you how that's done so this is what one leg is going to look like and it's very easy to make okay all you have to do is grab your t connector and then you are going to grab one of your one and a half pipes you are going to place one here and then you are going to place one on the opposite side and then you're going to grab an elbow place it right there and another elbow and place it right here and this has to be facing up okay and here you have your two legs very easy now I'm going to make the top of my arch by connecting elbows on each side of the arch Now I'm going to place the arch over the legs so it can stand on its own. Now I'm gonna go ahead and paint it metallic gold. All right guys, so we are back indoors and it looks pretty, pretty good inside and outside. And I wanted to note that um, you can use this PVC stand for pretty much anything. You can use it for photography, you can use it for a photo booth stand for a backdrop. You can use it outdoors for a outdoor movie theater stand. Each PVC pipe cost me $3.97 each. The elbows cost me $1.14 each. And the tees cost me $1.34 each. So I spent about $20, 22 to $23 for this stand. I mean, so, so cheap, so easy to make, and look how good it looks. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and continue with the wedding arch. I'm going to be using pearlized balloons from Party City. Uh, you can also use regular balloons from Dollar Tree if you would like. I decided to use these because it pretty much is the same amount I will be spending if I will get 10 bags or 8 bags at Dollar Tree. I just like the fact that this is pearlized, so I thought it was a good deal. And I'm also going to be using my Balloon Buddy from Party City, which will make my life so much easier. You can also use a pump or your mouth, but yeah that's a lot of work the white balloons are 12 inches and i'm going to be blowing them up in three sizes small medium and large 
Once you blend up all of your balloons, you are going to pair them together and you can actually do three or four at a time. It totally depends on how bulky you want your balloons to look. I'm also going to be using other color balloons, so I'm going to be pairing the whites for now. And you can pair them however you want. You can do a large one with a medium one or a medium one with a small one or a large one with a small one. It doesn't matter. You want a variety of sizes. I'm going to be using a transparent cord that I got from Michael some time ago to tie the balloons together. You can use fishing line or anything that you have at home handy to tie the balloons together. Since I'm going to be doing this by myself, I wrapped around the transparent cord to the knob right here so it can help me out a little bit. And then I'm going to start wrapping around all of the balloons on the cord. So this is what I have so far. I still have quite a few balloons left, but I want to see how this looks on the stand to see if I want to add more or if I want to start with the next color. To tie down the balloons to the stand, I'm going to be using the same transparent cord and I'm also going to be using masking tape as needed. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab a little piece of transparent cord and I'm going to tie it to the transparent cord that's already on the balloons and then I'm going to tie the cord to the stand. And here's what I have so far. I'm going to be adding a little more white balloons to the bottom, but for now, I'm gonna leave it as it is. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my pink balloons. So I think that I'm done with my pink balloons, at least for now. Now I'm gonna move on to my transparent balloons with gold confetti. In order to make this process pretty easy, you are going to need a funnel to place the confetti inside the balloons. I'm not gonna show this process because it's pretty self-explanatory, but if you do wanna see it, I'm going to link my balloon backdrop video so you can take a look at it. Okay guys, this is it. This is my wedding balloon arch and I love it. It is beautiful, elegant, and so much fun. If you want to finish up the other side, you are definitely going to need another bag of white balloons. I still have plenty of the pink and plenty of the transparent balloons. You can pretty much use this PVC stand for any backdrop. You can use it for photography, for birthday parties, for your channel if you have a channel, or for a wedding arch as you see this one. It can be floral, it can be balloons, it can be drapery, it can be anything. And you can use it indoors or outdoors. And it's so easy to make and so affordable. I love it. I love the wedding arch and I love this stand. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do so right now. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of my wedding arch. And leave me a comment anyway, because I love to chit chat with you guys all the time. And make sure to share. If you have a friend or a family member or someone who's getting married, save them a penny or two. And it's also pretty, so share. <laughs> all right, guys. Until next time, bye.